Hey, Travis, when we look at the defense, it's been one of the better units in college football for the past couple of years, but um, some of the, the big players and leaders have been, uh, of course, moving on to the next level. Uh, they're replaced by guys that, shoot, if you believe in the recruiting rankings, are even more talented. Uh, what are your concerns about the defense? What are you going to be watching on Saturday? Uh, I mean, it's a it's a whole lot of um, experience returning. Um, you, you you have you, so you lose the whole defensive line, but guys like McKinley Jackson, guys like Shamar Turner are guys that were rotational on the inside of the defensive line all through last year and had a lot of experience. Phil Diggs at end is a guy that uh, has some experience. Then, you, like you said, uh, and Isaiah Rakes has some experience on the inside of the line. Then you'll mix in uh, Walter Nolan. Uh, Gabriel Brownlow, Dinley, uh, Shamar Stewart, some of these other five-star guys, Anthony Lucas, that they were able to to nab, um, and then Nye White on the edge. Um, I, I think that's going to be a, a really, really deep uh, position group for the Aggies on the defensive line. Uh, and then the secondary is about as experienced as they've been since Jimbo Fisher ha has been here, uh, all kind of centered around Antonio Johnson and Demarney Richardson uh, at safety and what they'll be able to do um, back there. But it, it is a, for, for what they were lost is actually in a very experienced group. And I think the defense again, will probably lead the way in uh, the strength of this team uh, this next even, even though they'll probably take some steps forward on, on offense as well.